Before you start the installation of your new playhouse, there are a few things you'll need to check first. Make sure that the installation area is clear for assembly. The building will need to be constructed onto a flat level base. We're building this playhouse onto a raised wooden framework to help protect it from damp and insects. We would always recommend installing on a dry day, with a minimum of two people. To erect this playhouse you'll need a screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a tape measure, a ladder and a Stanley knife or cutting tool. Start by removing the transportation blocks from each of the panels with a few taps from the hammer. They're nailed in so don't try to pry them off. It's best to fix the door within the door panel first to make sure that the hinges are level. Place the door panel onto a flat surface and place the door within the aperture. Position the door that so you have a 12mm gap around all four sides. We've used a 12mm thick piece of timber to stop the doors from moving whilst fixing the hinges. Secure the hinges in place at the top and bottom using 30mm screws. Make sure to pre-drill all screw holes throughout this installation to prevent the timber from splitting. Assemble the ladder by slotting each ladder step into the grooves of the ladder sides and secure with 50mm screws. This next section will work on the floor and gables. Measure 1055mm from the bottom piece of framing on the door gable. Fix the first support bar in place using 16mm screws. Place the floor onto a firm level base making sure the bearers are flush with the supports. Start the main body of the installation with the rear panel and one of the side panels to form an L-shaped join. Secure the panels together at the top, middle and bottom using 50mm screws. Repeat this in the exact same way for the other side panel and front gable. This next section will work on the first floor and attaching the ladder. Lay the first floor onto the interior support bars and secure in place through the floor framing with 60mm screws. Position the rail guard flush with the floor and screw down through the framing with 60mm screws. Place the ladder against the rail guard and back panel framing and secure. Screw diagonally through the ladder and into the floor to prevent any movement. Next you will need to work on the roof. Slot the roof support block between the gable framing at either end and secure in place with 40mm screws. Place the roof support bar on top of the support blocks and screw in place using L brackets. Align a roof eave along each roof sheet using 30mm screws. Position the roof sheets on top of the building, leaving an overhang at the back and front. Fix the roof sheets at equal intervals along the roof support and the sides of the building using 30mm screws. You can now secure the building to the floor to prevent any movement. Next, you will need to fix the support blocks between the apex of the roof, flush with the edge of the roof sheets using 30mm screws. Place the fascia block in the middle of the large roof sheet, flush with the edge and fix into place. Cut the felt into three sheets and lay onto the roof, making sure that they overlap slightly. Ensure that there is a 50mm overhang around the sides. Tack in place along each edge at equal intervals. Use the third strip to cover the apex and secure each side with tacks. Make sure that the felt is sandwiched between the fascia and the building to help keep the building dry. You can now fix the fascias to the playhouse using 40mm screws. Attach the finials using 50mm screws. You can now attach the window boxes by screwing through the door gable into the window box using 30mm screws. Fix the window shutters in the same method. On the inside of the door opening, secure the ply triangle door stop to the bottom left corner. Use a sharp knife to score around the window edge, removing the plastic coating before screwing the window crosses in place. 
You can now position the window frame crosses inside each window and fix in place in the corners with 20mm screws. Position the door handle and screw through into the frame. Lastly, fix the butterfly onto the door using 10mm screws. Once you have treated the playhouse, score around the windows to remove the protective cover. Now that your playhouse is complete, you will need to treat the building with a high quality timber preservative to help protect it throughout the year. For more installations, please check out the other videos.